Welcome back to my channel. As most people who've watched the channel before will know, I have a vintage slash antique slash secondhand shop down in Devon. Um, so at the moment I can't open the doors, which is unfortunate. The weather's beautiful. We would be having plenty of tourists in East Devon if it wasn't for this. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, so I'm still listing on Etsy. Um, and I'm considering taking up listing on eBay again. I thought I'd trial a video where I show some of you as items that I have not listed yet, um, give people an opportunity to buy them if they're interested, or just have a nosy at the sort of stock I've got. So I brought out a selection of things, obviously it's just a tiny, tiny percentage of what's in the shop. And I thought I'd go through individual items, show you um, them a little bit up close, and if you are interested in buying them, then if you email me at kirstenscuriosities at gmail.com and then I can work out postage, send you an invoice and I can send it off for you. Right, let's have a start. So I tried to pick out a selection of things, something for everybody. Um, I thought I'd start though with number one, the first item. Um, this one is a Wedgwood little picture frame, photo frame. So obviously this bit's china with a glass um, inner, and then it's felted on the back. It has faded a little bit here. You can see the Wedgwood name there, but the front is in really good condition. It's got a monkey and some flowers and cherubs, unicorns and other animals going around the top. It's got the stand, so it will stand with your photo in it. So the full size is about 12 by 10 centimetres. And then this bit's about seven by five centimetres. And that's eight pounds plus postage. And that's item number one. So if you're interested in buying this, you'd email me at kirstenscuriosities at gmail.com. Say the item number in a little description. And then give me your PayPal email address and I will send you an invoice, including postage, for how much it would be. So that's how it would work. So that's item number one. So item number two is um, a little bit of china. It's a little bit unusual. It's um, a little lidded dish. Looks a bit like a UFO. It's got these pretty little legs. Um, three legs so like a little tripod and then the top is painted with flowers little domed lid like this and it's made in japan by noritake there is the make underneath there it's really unusual really delicate and i absolutely love it it's got this gold detail around the design which is really pretty. It's like lemon yellow there and the light blue. It's really, really pretty, very delicate. And that one is 15 pounds and that's item number two. Item number three is actually two items together. I've got two of these matching stainless steel, I guess 70s, 60s, 70s dishes, little serving dishes, ideal for crisps and nibbles. Um, both never used, they're both boxed. One's box is slightly damp, this one the box is slightly damaged, but the other one um, is in perfect condition. And it's still got the labels on, I guess it was a Christmas present that was never used. This one says, to Miss Pat from Genevieve, and the other one's got a little label in it saying, um, to dear Pat, fondest love, Bren, Joan, Carolee and Trevor, I think that says. And that was inside the box. So this, two of these, and um, still boxed and new. And it's £4 for the two of them, plus postage. Um, so that's item number three. And just so you know, they're about 18 centimetres across this way, and about 13 this way, just to give you an idea of size. So £4 
for the two. Item number four is a little bit of talky pottery. It's a sort of cauldron shape with two little handles and a tripod feet, um, narrower at the top and wide around the base. It's about, let me see, seven centimetres in height and sort of nine centimetres here at its widest. I'll show you up close so you can see. Seems to be a tiny little sort of hairline crack in the glaze, not in the pottery itself. Can you see that? But otherwise, still quite nice condition for talky pottery, unusual shape. And that's five pounds, that one. So that's item number four. Item number five. It's another bit of talky pottery. Again, a very similar shape, sort of cauldron shape with the three legs, slightly longer legs this time. Similar paint design with the colours, but this time on the other side, it says, help yourself to sugar. Help yourself to sugar. Now this one's a bit bigger. It's about eight and a half centimetres in height and about nine centimetres in sort of diameter. It has got a stamp, stamp I think it says Whatcom Torquay, and then it's got the signature there. And that one's 15 pounds, that one. And that's item number five. Item number six is three items together. Three are framed doilies. Um, they are African, they look North African to me, but I'm not an expert. And you can see they've disintegrated slightly here within the frames but really really delicate pretty designs and then this is the first one there's a set of three all in similar condition i suppose this one's got a bit more missing out of it but i love how delicate this lace is and the lady in the red dress. The frames are a bit dated. Um, I put some string up at one point just to hang them a bit better. And um, so they could maybe do with being reframed. But they're really, really pretty, really pretty toilies. So the three of those together are 30 pounds plus postage. And that is item number six. So if you're interested, email me, kirstenscuriosities at gmail.com. Item number six, doilies, and then I'll get back to you with an invoice with postage and packing. Obviously, let me know where you are. Ready for a cutie? This is item number seven. This is a Win Stanley cat, not just any old cat, a Win Stanley kitten. Little tabby cat, beautiful big eyes, um, sitting looking up, really, really cute. That one is about 10 centimeters tall and about 12 centimetres long, just to give you an idea of size. And it is signed underneath. And that one's 25 pounds. So if you're interested again, number seven is the item number with Stanley Cat. And then just send me an email, kirstenscuriosities at gmail.com. And remember to tell me where you are so I can work out postage. So this is item number seven. Item number eight, I love boxes. I've got a collection of quite a few. This one's a Japanese lacquered box. It has got quite a lot of wear to it, but I think that adds to the character. Um, you can see on the back there, around the edges. It obviously had a key at some point. I don't have the key anymore. That's the inside. And that one's eight pounds plus postage. So that's item number eight. 
and just for your reference it's about 18 by 15 by 6 centimetres. So this is item number nine. It's a pretty lacquered paper mache box, um, lidded, really pretty shape, strawberries and leaves, gorgeous colours and look how bright the inside is, painted gold and the underside of the lid. And that one's eight pounds. That one is about 14 centimetres high and about 11 centimetres in diameter. And that's item number nine and it's eight pounds. Item number 10 is another paper mache box, a little one this time. Pretty little blue and white, blue and cream box, oval shaped with birds going all the way around and on the lid as well. And the underside is black and inside it's like that and this one's six pounds and it is approximately nine by six by four centimeters so that's item number 10 little paper mache box and that's six pounds i've got another box for you how gorgeous is that this is item number 11, it's 12 pounds for a box. It opens out, it's got two compartments, it's slightly felted on the inside, ideal for jewellery. Um, beautiful Indian design, the ladies with their saris, beautiful flowers and green foliage. And then this gold band that goes all the way round. Show you it the right way round. So that's about 16 by 11 by 3 centimetres. Um, it's item number 11 and it's 12 pounds. Item number 12 is six of these lacquered goblets. Japanese design. Um, you can make it out there with gold inside. They are about 12 centimetres tall and then about seven centimetres diameter. The design you can see here has worn off quite a bit on some of them. This one's one of the better ones. And then this one you can see it's worn off quite a bit. There's a little bit you can see there and the same with this one so they're all varying in um, condition very similar condition but with the gold inside and it's 12 pounds for the set of six for those lacquered goblets and that's item number 12 so 12 item number 12 is six goblets for 12 pounds Item number 13. This is a Green Man style plaque that you can hang up. It's got the hole there so we can hang. Uh, it's terracotta and then it's been painted. This is the back. Um, it's 18 pounds. Oops. You can look at his handsome face. It's about 20 by 15 centimetres. And that is item number 13 and that's 18 pounds so if you're interested in that remember to email me kirsten curiosities at gmail.com let me know the number of the item that you're interested in a little description and then give me your paypal email and your address as in which area you're in and then i can send you an invoice item number 14 i've got this lovely teacher's water jug um, Highland Cream Scotch Whiskey um, bottled in Scotland and it is made by Seaton Pottery. There we go. And it's in very good condition. It's got an unusual spout. And that one is about 13 centimetres tall and about 18 centimetres at the widest part there. And it's 12 pounds 
and that's item 14. Item 15 is a little bit unusual. It's a tankard from Guatemala. It's got these interesting figures designed or embossed on there. I'm not exactly sure how it would have been made, probably with a mould, I guess, to have these designs. It's quite narrow at the top here and underneath it's marked as from Guatemala. Now that's eight pounds and that's item number 15. Item number 17, you will have seen if you've watched my videos. I think it was a live stream that I did. My first ever live stream, I think I showed this. It's a really pretty Marcy necklace. I've got it wrapped around twice. Here we go. Look how pretty that is. And that one is 18 pounds. Just move this down, yeah, 18 pounds. And that's item number 17. Item number 18 is a pretty little pillbox with water lilies all the way round. And then this gold effect border with a little flower clasp. And inside, if I can open it, it says happy birthday. And it is Fenton China, Bone China little pillbox really gorgeous water lily design and that's about four centimeters tall and about five and a half centimeters in diameter and that's five pounds plus postage so that's item number 18 and it's five pounds the next three items are all cufflinks i'm going to show you them they're individual items so this first item is item number 19 it's a pair of gold tone cufflinks in this jeweler's box. Possibly not the original box, but they'll come like this when I send them. They're gold tone, square, machined. Um, gold tone slightly wearing at the edges, but overall a nice pair of cufflinks. So that is number 19, and they're eight pounds for the pair. The second pair are item number 20 again gold tone with this slight enamel um inside i don't think i can show you that very well there we go um they're much smaller than the other pair the other pair in comparison so they're more discreet <laughs> and they're 12 pounds for the pair so that's item number um 20 and they're 12 pounds so that's those. The third pair are item number 21, cufflinks with three penny coin. And they've been put on the opposite direction. So one's one way, one's the other way. And those are 15 pounds. That's item number 21. Item 22. I think this will have been silver plated at some point. Um, and now you can just see the copper underneath. It's, or is it tinned? I don't know, this one's a mystery to me. Can you see? So it's got this sort of tinned look with the copper coming through. I don't know what it would be used for. It's got a pattern on the inside. I just absolutely love it. Little handle there flower detail around the edge. Bit Art, art Nouveau-ish, I guess. I don't know, it's just something about it I absolutely love. I've no idea what it would have been used for. Maybe a serving dish or a terrine. Um, beautiful. That is about 20 centimetres in diameter, so about 20 centimetres across and about 12 centimetres high and I've priced this one at 15 pounds so if you want this it's 15 pounds and it's item number what did I just say 22 
Item number 23 is six copies of the Beano. Um, three pounds for the six copies. They're dated from 1999. And I bought the, a whole bundle of these. I used some of them for decoupage type thing. Um, but you could easily make framed posters um, or you could use them as reading material. <laughs> whatever you wanted so there's six copies there uh, for three pounds this one's still got the free gift attached i have got more if you wanted more so item 23 three pounds item 24 is this lovely little new testament um all embossed on the cover it's a little pocket size edition colour illustrations, well thumbed, well used. It's about six by 10 centimetres and it's five pounds. So that's item number 24. Item number 25 is another book. It is um, Br'er Rabbit Plays. Can you see that? It's a little illustrated children's books book. It's five pounds and that is item number 25. Item number 26 is another book. This time it's a Bible, leather bound, embossed cover on both sides. You can see that says Bible there, embossed. It's got the gilt edges, although it's very dirty and old and worn. It has got condition issues. <laughs> so writing on the inside covers on both sides, like that. It's got a proper smell of old book. And again, this one is five pounds. So it's 26 is the number, the item number 26, five pounds for the Bible. 27 is another book. This one has been covered in brown paper, but underneath the cover, you can see the Book of Bournemouth. And it's a holiday sort of brochure of Bournemouth. So you can see some color prints. And then it's a lot of adverts for hotels, places to visit, that kind of thing. The occasional page has got some writing on in pencil where people have found where it is and have put near a particular road or a hotel. Um, I love the this kind of photography in it. So that book is five pounds and it's item number 27. Gorgeous tankard, studio pottery, with the maker's mark underneath, which is Hastings Pottery. And this tankard is about 17 centimetres tall um, and about eight centimetres, eight centimetres in diameter. Gorgeous. I think that looks very sort of 60s design. That one is eight pounds and it's item number 29. Item 30, look familiar, <laughs> is the same pottery, the same design, but this time in a goblet form. Um, this one is about 14 centimetres tall and about seven and a half centimetres across. And that one's eight pounds as well. This is another piece of studio pottery. It's not marked, but it's really unusual and interesting. It's a box with a lid that is a little bit ill-fitting. <laughs> it's got this wacky design on the front, glazed in a gray. It's been glazed on the inside as well, on the dark green. And that one is about 13 by eight by five centimeters and it's 10 pounds plus postage. And that's item 30. So remember, if you're interested in the items, email me, kirstenscuriosities at gmail.com. 
tell me the item number, little description, tell me where you are and I can send you a PayPal invoice. Item 31 is this lovely carving. I've got a few sort of African wooden carvings. Often they're in a darker, more ebony type wood. This one's in a lighter wood. Um, love his expression. And unlike my others, this one's actually signed. So it's dated 1972. And here we go, it's signed Caleb Chipudla, I think that would say. And this one is £20 plus postage, is about 18 centimetres tall. So if you're interested in this gorgeous African carving, um, it's item number 31 and it's £20 plus postage. Item 32 is this trench art brass vase. Pull it up close so you can see the design. It's hammered all the way around. It has got some sort of spotting and it's not perfectly shiny. This one is 20 pounds. It's about 19 centimeters tall. So if you're interested, it's item 32 and it's 21, 20 pounds for the trench art bars. So this is very almost an antique. It's a Lipton's souvenir tea caddy from the British Empire exhibition of 1924. Um, you can see it's got a little dent there and a few other little ones. There's the lion here and you can see the writing around the edge. There's the lid and underneath it says Lipton. That's eight pounds, that one. Um, it is about 12 centimetres tall. Um, and that's item number 34. Item number 35 is this pretty little pot. Sort of little tiny jardinier thing. It's got this lovely design around the edge. I can't tell you exactly what metal it is. It looks a bit like copper but then the feet and this bit look different. I honestly don't know. It's, I don't know if it's a mixture of metals or if it's just tarnished and changed color over the years. Um, it's still a really pretty little pot. It's about eight centimeters tall and about seven and a half centimeters in here. If you're thinking of putting a plant in there, I just absolutely love it. Um, that is item number 35 and that's six pounds. Item 36 is this little candlestick. It's a peacock bird candlestick. Um, and you, I suppose you could carry it like that. Um, really, really unusual. There's the face up close. Um, gorgeous design. Underneath is a little basic with the screw there, but really, really pretty. It is about 22 centimetres long, right from end to end, um, and that's £15. So that's item number 36, and it's £15. This is a shoehorn. I don't know if many, many people use the shoehorn, but it's a brass one with a pixie. And it's actually named underneath the Oxford pixie. I know that you get Devon pixies and I think you get Cornish pixies, but this one actually says Oxford pixie on a shoehorn in brass. That one is um, 26 centimetres long and it's five pounds. So that's item number 37. Here's another item that's a little bit of a mystery to me. It's a dish or a plaque. 
not quite sure you can see it's slightly bent it's not a uniform kind of shape but it's all embossed with this beautiful beautiful bird design i absolutely love it uh, it's the peacock here and probably the peahen with bird, uh, flowers all the way around it i don't know what material it is this side looks like pewter when you turn it on the other side it looks slightly brassy so again i don't know whether it's been silver plated at some point and then the silver plates worn off or if that's how it was originally but i love this peacock design in fact i'm wondering why i'm showing it to you because now the more i look at it the more i want to keep it um it's 12 pounds it's about 23 by 8 centimeters and that's item number 38 so we're on to the final item i'm going to show you in this video and this is a glass which has been etched it's a souvenir piece can you see it's the eiffel tower um it's a souvenir piece from 1889 and it was a, uh, from the world fair held in paris and i don't know if you'll be able to make out all the etching on it um but it is very very detailed and that one is 45 pounds so if you're interested in the glass it's 30 item 39 it's 45 pounds email me at kirsten's curiosities at gmail.com email me with your paypal email where you are whether you're in the uk or another country and i can sell it send you a paypal invoice That took me quite a long while to go through all those items i hope that was of interest to you let me know if a different format would work better um so the idea is that you email me kirstenscuriosities at gmail.com if you're interested list the item number and a little description and whether you're in the uk or what country you're in and then i can let you know the postage and i can send you a paypal invoice if you send me the correct email address for that um, if there's more than one item lists however many and i will combine postage if i can um uk most of these things i think would go second class sign for so 450 ish um otherwise obviously i'll work it out beanos if you wanted more i could do a job lot i've got quite a few of those um yeah get in touch i'd love to hear in the comments what you think of this format whether you like it at all if you're interested at all um or if there's a particular um genre that you'd like me to do like books or boxes or tins or whatever let me know that would be great thanks for watching and i'll see you soon take care bye bye Thank you.